good to see all of you, and I hope you're glad to see me here in the sanctuary and in front of the Word of God. And what a familiar, what a wonderful place, I think, for all of us to be, not just in the church, but in the Word of God. I want to share with you a scripture that kind of relates to that for us. This is from Isaiah's prophecy. It's chapter 50, verse 10. Who is among you that fears the Lord, that obeys the voice of his servant, that walks in darkness and has no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. I especially like that verse, who obeys the voice of his servant. I think that there's a lot of ways we can read that. Uh, I think many people read it as being Jesus. But others have read it to mean those who are called to be a prophet like Isaiah or any of the other prophets or perhaps even the apostles who were called to share the good news, the word of God with the people. And so the question is, who is listening to the Bible? Who is listening to what God has spoken to us through his word? And I, part of the reason I say that is that we're living in a time when the Bible is under such scrutiny that there are actually people in churches who are denying the writings of Paul as being not just accurate, but even being the Word of God. And why that's important is I, I want to read from part of what Paul has said to us in his letter to the church in Colossae, because I think this is an important thing thing for us to consider in our spiritual growth. Here is what it says in Colossians 2 verses 10. Let me start with verse 8 actually. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deceptions according to the traditions of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. For in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form, and in him you have been made complete, and he is the head over all, rule and authority. So you have, those of you who have accepted Christ, have come to a fullness of your spiritual life in him. But that fullness does not come in your first acceptance of the Lord, or the first time that you reached out to him as your savior. I think it's a fullness that comes over time. So it comes gradually. You know, I, I, I see my grandchildren occasionally, uh, especially the ones in California. Uh, I don't see them as very often. And every time I see them, my first remark is, wow, look how you've grown. And they always go, really? Like they don't notice it because for them, growth happens gradually over time. When I don't see them for several years, it's a shock to me. And I think that's the way our spiritual life is. I think we grow into the fullness of Christ over time. It takes time and maybe we don't even notice that growth. But the opposite is true. I think when we start to get away from the Word of God, when we get away from attending church or Bible study or reading uh, good Christian works, then we can start to fall away from the Lord very slowly to the point where we don't even notice it. And so I think it's important for us to hear verses like this because all of us, I think, who are Christians want to live into the fullness of Christ. And so even though it's gradual, I encourage you to stay in the Word of God, stay in this Bible, and it will lead you to God's holy truth. Thank you.